Good evening, everyone. At about 5 to 5 this evening, just behind my right shoulder at 45th and 7th, shots rang out. We had police officers in the area at the time that immediately put over a call for shots fired and responded about a block to the scene. At the end of what we now know is we have three individuals that are shot. We have a female Hispanic, four years old, from Brooklyn, shot in the leg and expected to undergo surgery at Bellevue Hospital. We have a 23-year-old female tourist from Rhode Island, here today to New York City, first to visit the Statue of Liberty, which was closed or not available at the time they got the tickets and decided to come to Times Square to enjoy the sights. And last, we have a 43-year-old female Hispanic from New Jersey. What we know right now is we have a dispute that erupted between two to four individuals, males. We have a picture of one person of interest that we have put out on NYPD News on our Twitter page, as well as a video. If you go there, you will see it. We are asking anyone with any information of what transpired here today to please call our Crime Stoppers hotline. It is, as you know, a very active investigation right now. I have Inspector uh, Chief Sautner, excuse me, uh, to my left. He will speak and answer any questions regarding the investigation in a moment. Very active investigation. We have three shell casings that appear to be 25 caliber recovered right now, and we will see where it goes from there. Any questions? Are they all innocent bystanders? The three? It appears at this point in time the three individuals that are shot are not known to each other, and it appears that all three are innocent bystanders. At this point in time, we have one person of interest that we are seeking information. We have at least one shooter. It's very active in the investigation. No indication yet, too preliminary. Any indication of what this was been over? No, very early in the investigation. There's no gun recovered at this point in time. Obviously, we're very concerned about the proliferation of guns, not only in this incident, but throughout New York City the last couple of years. I can tell you, Steve Hughes here on my right, the chief of Manhattan South, his officers are out there every day taking guns off the street. We have been taking guns off the street in New York City at an alarming rate over the last two years. And it's time now that we have consequences for those. Yes. The four-year-old female was shot in the leg. The leg. We have a four-year-old female shot in the leg, a 23-year-old female that was also shot in the leg, and the 43-year-old was shot in the foot. And did they have it all at once? It, is, it, it was a instantaneous. The officer heard approximately four to five shots, possibly. That's preliminary, and that could change. And it's during that exchange, uh, that, that gunfire, that Which the one three was struck. Which one is getting surgery? The four-year-old. Very, very preliminary. We have a dispute from numerous witnesses that a dispute occurred on the street involving at least two to four people. It is during this dispute that at least one person pulls out a gun. This is early and that could change. And it is during that pulling out the gun and the gunfire that three individuals that were not involved in the initial dispute was struck. This is tourism in the city. Here we have someone from Rhode Island. They're working so hard to make Times Square a tourist attraction again. What happens now? How well, do you assure what you, And I would, I would say the same thing. How many kids have to be shot before we take this seriously? We just had a one-year-old homicide cleared this week. How many more kids do we need to be shot before we realize that bad policies have consequences? And we need action and we need policies regarding laws to have consequences for the, the arrest. We've gone over it many times. I think you're seeing it play out and it's time that it stops. We have the four-year-old that is gonna undergo surgery, the last we heard, a very brave girl that is here buying toys when she is shot. Whether it be the, uh, the issues with EDPs south of here, open air drug markets going on, is this a part of that issue? Well, I, I think we've we've spoken about this ad nauseum at this point, right? Day in and day out. Earlier this this morning, 
and I believe 145th Street, we had an innocent 60-year-old pushed onto the subway tracks. The individual was almost immediately arrested by responding police officers. It is the third time, the third time this year already, that that individual has been arrested for unprovoked assaults. When is this going to end? How many more people have to be injured, pushed in front of a train, or in this case, a young four-year-old toy shopping shop? She was with her parents, who was she with? You know? She was with her family. So what are your guys do that are coming to Times Square now in the future? What should they do to try to stay safe? Listen, this is, this is all of our job. You have uh, officers out here every day. As you saw today, we had a officers from Steve Hughes Detail. He can go into how many on the same block, immediately engaged. Uh, we have, we are detectives right now tracking that individual on video. We got the first picture out. I have no doubt that that individual will be arrested in short time. Um, this is the greatest city on the world, in the world. We need help with some of these laws. Mr. Commissioner, it seems like- What's your message to New Yorkers? I mean, this is Times Square. There would have been hundreds of thousands of people. What, what do you want to tell New Yorkers about how safe the city is if you can't talk to Times Square without getting Yep, greatest city in the world. Uh, native New Yorker, love it. I remember when the city was very bad. The new men and women of this department brought this city back. It is still a safe city. It is a great city, but we need help. You said the speed of gun violence is rising throughout the, the, the city, here. and now it hits Times Square. What can you and do to bring it under control? Well, we're going to do what we have been doing, and we're going to continue to. We have officers getting out of the academy just this week. We have officers that are continually being deployed throughout New York City. We have an all-time record, basically, in gun arrests being made. We have two in very impressive gun cases uh, that came down this week. One in Brooklyn, as, as I'm sure you are well aware of. One in, in the Bronx, where targeted precision policing cases against shooters came down. We're going to continue to that, do that. We're going to continue to keep New Yorkers safe. We have uh, two academy classes that just got out that are hitting the street, extremely eager to get out there and keep New Yorkers safe. And it's going to be a great time coming back from COVID. But we need help with some of these laws. There's no doubt. A couple more questions. When do you plan on reopening Times Square? I'm sorry. When do you plan on reopening Times Square? It'll be open later this evening. Thank you all. Thanks very much.